so hello welcome and now we are doing exercise 1.2 question number five question number five let me write down the question question says represent the following number on the number line following number on the number line number line roman number one it is root five so how to represent root five on number line just look carefully it is not that tough let us start solution first thing root five before writing root 5, I can write down 5. 5, I can write down as. 5 can be written down as. Or we can write down like this. We know. We know. Or we can write. We can write. 5 is 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4, I can write down as 2 square. And 1, I can write down as 1 square. So 5 can be written down as 2 square plus 1 square. Now we can start drawing our number line. Let us draw a line, straight line. Okay. After drawing a straight line, this is a ray actually extending both side. Now, like used to give the number, start giving the number. So let us start from here. This is zero. Here, let me give one. Yeah, give it, use your scale and give the equal distance between these two, okay? Maybe a centimeter or even two centimeter, you can write down as one, two, like that, okay? Use your scale and do. I hope you know how to do at least this one, five, six. Now, after doing that, after doing that, this side also you can write down, it's your choice, minus one, minus 2 but we don't have negative number in the equation no minus number so you don't need to write much of minus number what you need to focus is only plus number now this two square is there you can see two square here right and one square there so first what you'll do is take any one or two any one okay i will take two and from zero take this two unit and make a straight line here so what you are doing is you will take straight from 0 till 2 from this point till 2 you are taking a straight line okay after that after that from this point 2 from this to point 2 you see a scale and make mark a distance 1 so the distance from here to here this distance okay you take the point 2 here and from this point you make that distance so what you are going to do is the distance from 0 to 1, how much is the distance? Same distance, use your scale and mark it here. So you can mark the distance here like this. Okay, this much. And while marking the distance, use your protector. Okay, here I cannot show you the protector, draw the protector. I cannot use the help. I cannot take the help of protector here because uh, this device, I'm very confused what to do with this. But what you're going to do is while drawing this line, make sure that this angle is 90 degree okay after that after that what you're going to do is join these two lines from here you join this line a very straight line so what you did you took to this side so the distance from here to here what is that it is two so you took the distance from here to here is two two units it may be centimeter, it may be millimeter, whatever you want to take, you can take. And this is one. It may be one meter, two meter. So I'll write down two units, one unit. Okay. This side is one unit, this side is two units. Now, or let me write down the name also. Let me give the name of this. So name of this, let me write down in a different color. Let me take this color and write down this as A, B, and c or let me make it little bit thinner line and make it here a b c now now how to draw root 2 root 5 right we need to draw root 5 so 
First, let us check whether we got root 5 or not. So in triangle, so what we can do is this in triangle ABC, can you see the triangle ABC? In triangle ABC, using Pythagoras theorem, using Pythagoras theorem, if you use Pythagoras theorem in triangle ABC, you know Pythagoras theorem, right? This side is square, AB square, hypotenuse square AB square will be equal to BC square plus AC square. This is square, AC square. What is BC? BC is two units. So two square plus AC is how much? One square. Two two zero, four. Two square is four. One square is one. And this side is AB square. I want to find out, I wanted to find out AB. I wanted to find out how much AB. So AB will be equal to, this square will go this side. This square will be transferred this side and it will become root. 4 plus 1, it is 5. So look here. The interesting thing here is, I got, I got AB. I got AB whose, I got AB whose distance, whose length is root 5. Okay, this much. Now what you can do is, now what you can do is, you can take compass, you can take your compass, let me change it to blue, you can take your compass and the point, the pin of the point compass, pin side, okay, point it here, okay, stretch your compass and pencil side, you put it, point it here to A. Nip side, the, there is pin side, no? pin side of the compass, you put it in B and pencil side, you put in A, okay. After that, after that, you draw from this length, taking this AB as your radius of the compass, draw a line like this or draw a curve like this. Okay. After taking AB, I cannot show you properly also. That's the problem with me here because the device which I'm using, I don't find the compass in this thing. So after taking AB with your compass, you draw a curve. Okay. Cutting here and this point from B to this one, let me call it as P. Let me call it as P here. Now BP, BP, the length of BP is BP and AB are equal. And AB is how much? Root 5. So how much will be BP now? BP will be equal to this from B to P. B to P will be equal to root 5. So since we get, so Finally, or we can write down BP represents root 5 since, since it is a curve drawn with radius BBA which is equal to root 5 since ba or ab okay, i can add on ab here so that it won't be too much confusing for you i can add on ab is equal to root 5 since i took ab as the radius and drawn a graph so bp will be equal to root 5 and this is how you are going to draw the graph i hope you understood i hope you understood this much if you didn't understand you can just zooming it you can just check it out okay that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video